Let's do it. <laughs> Come on, we talked about our past. Let's talk about our future. We can get a sign for your sign. Come on. You don't take this seriously, do you? It's a scam. They tell you something vague. Your brain fills in the rest. Well, I don't expect the psychic to solve both our problems. I think you're taking it too seriously. Well, then what's the point? The point is, so what? I don't need to know my future. I'm going to live it anyway. You don't have to believe it for it to make an impact. All right. <laughs> OK. Are they even open? Oh. Hello. You're good. Did you know we were coming? What? Oh. Oh, no. No. It's trash day. You want a reading? We don't have any money. I know. I had trouble sleeping. So I could use some company. Come on in. He knows. Should I be impressed or offended? OK. Who wants to go first? Don't you use tarot cards or a crystal ball or something? Oh, I used to. My wife thought it made the customers more comfortable if they saw me actually doing something. But the truth is, all I really do is look at you and tell you what I see. Where's your wife now? She passed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. OK, who's first? Oh, him Start first. with her. OK, I'm seeing a trumpet. You're a musician of some kind. Your gift is truly staggering. Works every time, even the skeptics. <laughs> All right, young lady. What are we going to do with you? You're at a crossroads, my dear. You think you know exactly what your problem is. And you're exactly wrong. Why is that? You think you're trapped by what's happening to you. Actually, you've got choices. You're just afraid to look at them. OK. What are they? You could walk away. From what? I don't know. But you do. We can always walk away. And sometimes you should. You could have a future with our boy here. But no, I don't say that to every couple who walks in. Nick is a terrific guy, but I'm actually married to somebody else. You ask me about your choices. I stand by what I see. But what if the things that really matter, what if those choices aren't up to me? You know the most important thing I learned after all my years of marriage? After an entire life with one person? What's that? That you can't allow the people you love to determine how you love. <laughs> Easier said than done. Sorry. No refunds. Would you mind if I used your phone? Oh, well, there's a. There's a phone in the room down the hall. Might give you a little more privacy. OK, thank you. Give Nick and I a moment to chat. Picking up any Powerball numbers? I don't do races, roulette, or Powerball. There's your wife, man. Yeah. She's beautiful. No mistake. We danced our way through South America. <laughs> we did the bumble, we did the bumble, and Hello? Hey, it's me. Oh, my God, Brooke, I've been trying to call you. I couldn't get the letter. There was no key. What? It's in the magnetized box by the pool filter. No, it wasn't. I went over there, and I found the box, but there was no key inside. Someone must have taken it and not put it back. Um, uh, you can break in. Break I in. Know. Alarm went off and I panicked. I'm so sorry, Brooke, but I panicked and ran. 
Okay, okay. It's okay, honey. You tried. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. She wrapped her neckerchief around her ankle. It's already 5 a.m., so why don't you just get some sleep? I don't know. I enjoyed that. All right. Okay. Bye. I don't reckon I can do much things to the day, but I thought she would try if she was around. I was at this party just after college, and the music came on. It was Moon River. And then, here comes this girl, the most beautiful girl I had ever seen. She comes up to me and just drags me right out onto the dance floor. <laughs> I had no idea how to dance, but it didn't matter. I would have made an absolute fool out of myself just to spend one minute with her. And I did. And it all started with a song. Wow. You guys seemed perfect. Well, Nick, there is no perfect. There will always be struggle. You just have to pick who you want to struggle with.